Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Right, today we're going to a brewery. I haven't reviewed a beer from these guys for probably two years. I think the first few months of my reviewing I've done a few of their beers, maybe the subsequent six months when I first started reviewing. Um, so yeah, and it's a bottle as well, not a can. Um, so this is, we're going to Hackney in London and this is from the Five Points Brewing Company and this is their Brickfield Brown. So a brown ale coming at 5.4% ABV. Um, the thing I love about this is they've got a bottled on date and a best before date. That's fantastic. I wish loads of breweries would do that. Sound like Greg, didn't I? Uh, but yeah, I, I do like it when, when, when a brewery puts itself out and gives you both dates. So this beer was bottled on the 21st of February of 2017. So this beer is about seven months old. Um, and it's, they're giving it a year's shelf life. So so we're well in that. So we, to, I'm reviewing this now on the 30th of uh, September of 2017. Um, brewed and bottled by Five Points Brewing Co. Free Institute Place, Hackney, London, e E81JE UK. Five Points Brew at Five Points Brew on Twitter. And they're going to be online. I'll put all the links down below. This is my second beer from the uh, September box for well, their Indie Man box from Beer 52. So check them out. I'll put the links down below. So, there's the bottle cap. I haven't got this actual one. I've got, I think I've got pretty much most of the other bottle caps, although they, they are in canning now as well. So yeah, 330ml bottle, UK standard size. Uh, let's crack this open then. Hopefully it won't go everywhere. And we'll see what we get. Not too bad. Not much smoke on the opening. Didn't go anywhere, so that's good. So beer in the glass then. Bit of smoke. Ching ching. Try and generate a little bit of a. Not had too many brown ales, so this is a real kind of treat. Let that settle down for a sec. So a little bit. I'll give you a little bit of information about the brewery. Uh, let's get this up here. Here we go. Much of it, oh, there's quite a bit of a commercial description. So, the Five Points Brewing Company in, is an independent, independently owned brewery within the railway arches underneath Hackney Down Station in East London. We've been creating flavours and beers on cask, keg, can, and bottle since March of 2013. So, I mean, I first started reviewing beers in July of 2013. 15 so they've been going a couple of years um, just over a couple of years so from when I started reviewing and I, I, I had quite a few of their their um, their parallel and their IPA um, probably in 20 beginning of well not 2013 beginning of 2014 so just just over a year I first they've been going when I first tried their beer blah, blah, blah. right we are the first brewery in the UK to be certified uh, a living wage employer, whatever. Um, the Five Points uh, organises the popular London Brewers Market events, frequently held at old, uh, s I can't even pronounce that word, sp 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 uh, Spryfields Market along with other locations. If, uh, if you have any questions, blah, 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 for you, give, get in touch, basically, yeah. So, if you want to get in touch with them, it'll be in, go to their website, and then follow all that jazz. Right, let's get back to the beer then. Uh, oh, what am I doing? I've gone onto the wrong page. There we go. Right, so beer in a glass, it's all settled down now. It's leaving a, a thin layer of of head there hanging around let's try and give it a little swirl in the light color yeah there's a there's a, there's a slight kind of light brown color coming through the bottom of the glass apart from that it's like a very kind of 
dark maroony colour. Very kind of plum looking at the bottom. Yeah, nicely compact bubbles on, on the swirl of the beer, reinforcing that head to a, probably about a third of a, of a finger ahead. It's getting aroma. <sighs> Lovely kind of very rich plum fig dates. Slightly sweet, maybe some brown sugar. Oh, this, this smells beautiful. Really does. Never had this beer before, so this is this is really nice just to get a fresh beer I've never had before. Oh yeah, there's definitely a, a lovely kind of raisiny quality dried fruit edge. Oh smells gorgeous. Slight alcohol legs clinging to the glass. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Ah, oh. oh. yes. Ah, oh. uh, brown owls. I don't get to try many of them, but when I do, ah, oh, yeah. It really does treat the taste buds. When you, you know, when you get these beers you haven't had for a while, the styles of beers. Because everything these days is all about hazy IPA. And to be honest with you, I've not had that many of them in the last month or two. Um, it's like earlier on, I, I, I had an old Scottish ale. Fantastic. Although people are like, oh, it's, you know, uh, that, that kind of thing. It's like, yeah, it is what it is. Sometimes it comes to price point, sometimes it's. But when you when your taste buds haven't had certain styles of beer that you haven't had you know you haven't had them for six months a year sometimes a little bit longer I mean I haven't had a barley wine for a while if I tried that now it'd be fantastic just because you, you I think your taste buds become acclimatized to different certain styles of beer you keep going back to all the time they get a bit worn out and burnt so you come something for my palate, like a brown ale, first time for God knows how long, last time I had a brown ale. It's just, it, there's more of an impact when you haven't had a certain style of beer for a long time. And I'm loving that, that is fantastic. Sound like Kevin Keegan then, love it. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's really it's really smooth, wonderful kind of mouthfeel. It's probably the it's a medium body. You're not picking up the ABV at all. There's some slight kind of chocolatey notes coming through, mingled in with that kind of kind of cherry plum, slightly raise you know raisins figs, slightly vinous, maybe a, a slight kind of red grape quality to the beer. Wow, that's really good. But then is it is it just my palate's not used to this style of beer? Probably a bit of that, but it, I think it's a very well made beer. Fantastic. Um, there is a short description about it, so I, I will um, go into it. I take on a traditional English brown ale brewed with Willamite hops and na uh, naked golden oats. Brickfield Brown has notes of Dimmeria, dim dim hazelnuts and oak wood. So I don't read all this before I give my initial oats. I suppose to a degree, yeah, oats, it's, it's got that, it's got a very kind of creamy mouth feel. Maybe there's a hint of that hazelnuts, but I didn't personally pick it up. But now, 
I've read the description. Yeah, the, the, there's definitely some kind of uh, nut quality going on. Whether it's haze or not, or not I, I, I'm not too sure. Um, but the mouthfeel was fantastic. That's probably the best thing about this beer. It's velvety smooth. There is some kind of almost sweetness, like maybe slightly vanilla, maybe. Um, I mean, it mentions oak wood. I don't know if this beer has been in aged at all. Who knows? But um, I'm really enjoying this beer. Very nice. As for a rating for me, then um, I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. That's an 8 out of 10 from me. Um, the scores on untapped out of 1042 ratings is coming in excuse me it's coming in at 3.72 so that's mm, what would that be let me just work this out mentally so it's what six seven seven and a half out of ten just under seven and a half I'll give it an eight so this beer was added onto Untapped on the 22nd of April of 2016. So, yeah. So, yeah, check out um, the Five Points Brewing Company. They're out of Hackney in London. This is their Brickfield Brown. Lovely beer. So, that's it. If you've got any other beers I should try that I've not reviewed so far, please put them down below. Let me know what you think about this beer if you've had it. And I'll see you on the next review. Also, check out uh, the Clueless Drinkers review of this beer. I've not seen it yet, but he's got the same group of beers I have um, from September box of Beer 52. Cheers.